In this video, I will be showing you every single gun location in Survive and Kill the Killer's Juggernaut mode, as well as what I believe to be the best routes to take to get the most guns in Juggernaut mode. This video took way too long to make, so if you find it enjoyable, please make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. In total, I found 64 different locations throughout the map during Juggernaut mode. Now, each location is not guaranteed to have a gun each round, but it's possible for there to be. I'll be going over each location, what guns I found spawned there, and then afterwards, I'll be going over which mega locations have the most locations for guns to spawn in, so you know where to go each round to have the greatest chance of getting good guns. In addition to that data, I will also be showing you some routes that you can take for each spawn point that you spawn in, which will also help you out in that regard. Before we begin, I would like to preface that it is possible that I missed some gun locations, or that I missed finding a particular gun out of certain locations, just because of how many there are. If this is the case, please let me know down in the comments below with a link to the screenshot to prove you're correct, and I will add it to the huge database I made of all the gun locations, which can be found in the description down below. Make sure to check the data page when this video becomes older to see new gun locations when they are added. Alright, let's get right into it. Because of the sheer number of locations, I'll be going over them quickly, and instead of telling you which guns are there, I'll just have that data located at the top right of your screen, again just to make it take less time. If you need more time to look at a particular location or its guns, feel free to pause the video. I'll be going into the data more in depth afterwards. Mega location, sewer. Number 1, sewer corridor, on the side that is blocked off from the sewer generator. Number 2, after the boardwalk bridge on the left. Number three, after the boardwalk bridge on the right. Number four, the sewer main room. Number five, isolation vault entrance corridor on the right. Number six, isolation vault entrance corridor on the left. Number seven, the personnel room also known as the boardroom. Number eight, pump center on the side without the pumps. Number nine, pump center on the side with the pumps. Number 10, Fish Faces Field, on the left. Number 11, Fish Faces Field, on the right. Number 12, the Sewer Generator Room. Number 13, Sewer Corridor, on the way to the Sewer Generator Room. Number 14, Cleaner 1 Room, above Cleaner 1. Number 15, Bottom of the Sewer Entrance, near the Jail and Voltage Room. Number 16, Top of the Sewer Entrance, near Jail and Voltage Room. Mega Location, Pipe Complex. Number 17, the hallway leading into sewage. Number 18, power pump room. Number 19, food supply room in the purple waste. Number 20, food supply room next to the boxes. Mega location, alien lab. Number 21, computer area. Number 22, UFO room. Number 23, staff only room. Number 24, black towel box storage room. Number 25, experimentation room. Number 26, storage corridor back room, where the P90 spawns in classic slash killer mode. Number 27, control device slash contraption room. Number 28, alien confinement room, not to be confused with the ultimate secret room. Number 29, substance closet room. Number 30, cabinet storage room. Number 31, red drum room. Mega location, radioactive area. Number 32, Atomic Bomb Burrow, near the ladder. Number 33, Radioactive Corridor, at the very end. Number 34, Radioactive Weapons Room, Ray Gun Spawn in Classic Slash Killer Mode. Number 35, Atomic Bomb Burrow, near the Atomic Bomb. Mega Location, Robotic Center. Number 36, Creation Room. Number 37, Armory Number 2, near the gun display. Number 38, Rejects Room. Number 39, Office. Mega Location, Miscellaneous. Number 40, Jail, first open cell on the right. Number 41, Jail first open cell on the left. Number 42, jail, second open cell on the left. Number 43, cargo area, behind the boxes on the left. Number 44, cargo area, behind the boxes on the right. Number 45, teleporter room, on the wall opposite of the teleporter. Number 46, teleporter room, on the right of the blue tube. Number 47, teleporter room, on the left of the blue tube. Number 48, at the end of the left corridor. Number 49, at the end of the right corridor. Number 50, at the end of the restrooms. Number 51, voltage room. Number 52, cafeteria, next to the drinks machine. Number 53, cafeteria, next to the counter with the ketchup and mustard bottles. Number 54, cafeteria, behind the counter with the cutlery. Number 55, tableware room, room next to the kitchen generator. Number 56, cafeteria kitchen. Number 57, trash compactor room, kitchen generator must be turned off in order to access it. Number 58, kitchen, not to be confused with the cafeteria kitchen. Number 59, hallway leading to the kitchen. Again, not the cafeteria kitchen. Turn right when you enter and you'll see it. Number 60, hallway leading to the kitchen. Turn left twice when you enter and you'll see it. Number 61, at the top of the mineshaft elevator. MP5K spawn in classic slash killer mode. Number 62, generator room, near the restrooms, not to be confused with the sewer generator. Number 63, hallway leading to the hatch. And finally, number 64, the medical room. All right, there you have it, all of the locations in juggernaut mode. Out of all the mega locations, the sewer had the most gun locations, with the alien lab coming afterwards, 
then the radioactive area, pipe complex, and robotic center being tied at third place. Some honorable mentions of locations that aren't mega locations are the cafeteria, jail and voltage room, and cargo area, as they also had a lot of guns. Also, for anyone who is curious, I found the ray gun at the jail, first open cell on the right, cargo area behind the boxes on the left, cargo area behind the boxes on the right, the sewer corridor on the way to the sewer generator, atomic bomb burrow near the ladder, at the top of the sewer entrance near the jail and voltage room, and the radioactive weapons room. Ray gun spawn in classic slash killer mode. The locations with the most ray gun spawns were the radioactive area, mega location, cargo area, and near the jail and voltage room. There are probably more ray gun locations than what I mentioned, but those are the ones I found. The best way to find ray guns is to just go through the areas with the most gun locations, and that'll give you the best odds. The gun location I found guns at the most often was the isolation vault entrance corridor on the right. Again, this can all differ for you, but considering how much data I collected, I can say with confidence that it is pretty accurate. Now, before we end off this video, I want to go over some routes you can take for each of the three spawns that will likely give you the most amount of guns each round, and will also give you the best odds for the ray gun and other good guns. Let's start off with spawn number one, which is at the entrance of the Area 51 facility. First, head over to the door on the right, go through it, and head towards the jail. Check the voltage room, then the jail cells. Now, go down into the sewer, quickly check to see if there's anything on the left and right sides of the pump center, then head into Fish Fish's field and over the boardwalk bridge. Check both sides before entering the door, and then do the same thing after you've entered the door. Now, check the fish's field for any guns, and then after that, head over to the sewer corridor, the door on the right of fish face's field, and check to see if there's anything there. Then, head into the main room and check throughout the room to see if there's anything. Now, go up to the cleaner one room, check in there, and the board room as well. Finally, head into the sewer generator side of the sewer corridor, check to see if there's anything, and then check the sewer generator. By now, you should have enough guns and should probably try to go find the juggernaut. If you don't, though, you can also check the robotic center and its locations. Alright, now let's move on to the spawn 2 route, which is for when you spawn in the meeting room. First, go into the cafeteria and check next to the drinks machine, behind the cutlery counter, and next to the mustard and ketchup bottles. Now, head into the cafeteria kitchen, check there if there is a gun that you want inside of the trash compactor room behind the fan, turn off the cafeteria generator if you haven't already, and go and get it. Make sure to check if there's a gun there first though that you want, however, as there's no point of damaging yourself to turn off the generator if there's nothing there. Then, head into the tableware room and check there, and then head out of the cafeteria. Check the generator room, as well as the the restrooms and the medical room. You can check out the hatch entrance as well if you want, which can be found here, but I didn't do it in the route as I only found a gun there once. But again, you can if you want to. Finally, if you still don't have any guns, check out the radioactive area and its gun locations, and you can also check out the left and right corridors and the alien laboratory if you're truly desperate. But by this point, you should just be trying to hunt down the juggernaut with what you have. Finally, we have the route for spawn 3, which is when you spawn next to the cargo area. Check behind the boxes in the cargo area on the left and right, then head over to the tele teleporter room and check the gun locations there. Then head towards the sewers. Head down the broom closet entrance. Then check the main room for any guns. Then check the cleaner one and board room. Now check on the sewer generator side of the sewer corridor as well as the sewer generator room. Then head back and go towards the other side of the sewer corridor and check the gun location there. Check Fish Fish's field. Then head over to the boardwalk bridge and look left and right before entering the door. Then enter the door and do the same thing. Head back and go into the pump center and check there. Finally head up towards the jail and voltage room and and check there as well. At this point, you should stop looking for guns and head after the juggernaut. But if you really need guns, you can also check the kitchen and the hallway leading to it, as well as the top of the mineshaft elevator. Alright, those are all the routes. I hope this video was really informative and will help you when trying to find guns in Juggernaut mode. If you enjoyed this video, liking the video and subscribing to the channel would really help me out. Like I mentioned previously, if you want to see all the data I collected or any new data collected after this video, you can also check out the spreadsheet in the description down below. I also have a Discord now, so if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description and pinned comment. That's all I have for now. If you're looking for something else to watch, why not check out my video on all gun locations for classic slash killer mode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.